This episode of The Silly Cast is brought to you by the tea earlier that burned my tongue and is making it difficult to speak, which is uh, just I, perfectly ideal for a podcast uh, and very exciting. Fortunately, though, I have a, a classic sponsor to help me in these trying times. It's Chalky Almond Milk. I hope uh, you also check out, so dual sponsors, Chalky Almond Milk and the tea that burned my tongue. It was a uh, tea I bought from Starbucks. It is a holiday tea. I bought it a while ago. Cheers. Oh, and a theme song. Welcome to another lavender-scented episode of The Silly Cast, the only podcast on the internet that has a host that plays with Play-Doh while recording. And joining me uh, in the digital flash for the first time, despite the fact that he's been on the majority of the episodes, it's Dawson! Hey, Dawson. Yeah, yes, hello, it's me. It's It's me, it's... <laughs> Big dog D over here. Mm-hmm. Dawson, the year, it's it's almost over. 2020 is almost over. I know, they go by so fast. Yeah. This year went by so fast and so slow at the same time. It was such a bizarre experience, don't you think? <laughs> it was something. <laughs> and, you know, there's a new year right around the corner. And you know what they say, new year, new you. And do you know what that means? It means you get to give me... Three brand new random facts about yourself. Really? Yep. Three random, brand new stinking facts? Yep. Oh, That's good- a callback to our first episode. Goodness. Okay. Um, I, he- yes, hello. I'm Hi. Dawson. Hello, Dawson. One. That's one. <laughs> hello, I am Dawson. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I got, I got my base. I'm not going to move it, but here is... The bow for said oh, bass. And, that's uh, a good one, bow. Uh, that's a good one, bow. And uh, I got... I don't know. Here, here we go. It's a frog in a car. That, that's, wow. Yeah. Those and are I, definitely some facts. Yeah. Um, I don't want to get my lizard out. He's sleeping. And I don't want to mm. get my tortoise out because she's also sleeping. I don't think I ever realized how many hats you have. Oh, yeah. I have uh, more that's not even all yeah. of them. Wow. Yeah. I don't have a lot of hats. I don't I'm, I don't have a hat head. I look very strange with hats. Yeah, the only time I ever saw you with a hat was when we worked at the theater, and that was even just a, a visor. You may have seen me wear my Sherlock Holmes hat. Not rarely. Maybe it once. It was like when it was snowing or raining or something. Yeah. I like, I like silly hats. Silly hats that don't look right in a public setting. Like, I can't wear a baseball hat. Anywhere, but I can wear a top hat. <laughs> Dude, what are the odds you just wear a fedora for all of next year? That's a that's a good segue. I'm not going to answer the question. <laughs> I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> yeah. But that's a good segue because uh-huh. the year is ending, like I said before. And I don't know if anybody else has heard this, but apparently 2020 was a bad year. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know. Turned out pretty fine for me. Yeah, it's a pretty kind fine of. year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the whole, it was fine. You know, I didn't reach the podcasting goal that I wanted and the number of listeners. I'm not going to reveal the number, but if I don't hit the number of listeners that I'm anticipating by the end of next year, I will record the final episode. Really? Of the silly cast. Yes. That's pretty drastic. I mean, you know. I might not release yeah. it <laughs> immediately. Yeah. It might be 10 years afterwards where I'm like, well, here's the last episode of the silly cast that I recorded at the end of 2021. Enjoy. This is it. This is it. But, you know, I want to give it some stakes. So maybe I'll just stop at the end of next year if I if I don't hit these benchmarks that I'm hoping for. You'll just start a new podcast. Uh, Kind of already started one. Mm-hmm. And since this is the end of the year, I'll just tease that out now. Uh, Stuart who has been a uh, guest on this podcast a couple of times. He and I are starting a series where we debate pop culture topics. Uh, The first one's about the best Batman gadget. 
the second one is what is the best Marvel Infinity Stone? The third one is what is the best planet to live on in Star Wars? We got more stocked up uh, and we're going to start releasing them in January. Very cool and fun times ahead. All right. So with everyone saying that this was a bad year, I think we should jump into this and just say only good things about 2020. Also, I'm going to say this now because I keep meaning to say it in every episode and I forget. So I'm going to do it now. This is the silly cast. This is the show where we take any topic and make it real dang silly. Put it okay. in a silly machine. <laughs> <laughs> you say that some of the time. I not say a- that. Yeah. Yeah. Not every time. Not anymore. Every every so often. You yeah. Know, if, it, if you're here and you're around. If I, if I feel like it. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Are you, uh, do you have anything off the top of your head for good things about 2020 or? Yeah. Yeah. This is the first year that I've actually had money I can spend on myself. Is that, how's that? Tell me what that's like. It's really nice. Cool. Money from unemployment. Huh? Yeah. I knew there was some trick to how you got that money. Yeah. (laughs) I, I was convinced that you were inspired by, I don't know, breaking bad or something. You were selling meth. I, yeah. Yeah. It's me. Mm-hmm. I am a chemistry teacher. Yes, yes, you are. Yeah. You're you're a teacher, right? I am a teacher. Yes. So maybe you you used uh music to I, cook meth. I did. I used I used Beethoven to to cook some meth, dude. <laughs> I would love to see that behind the scenes process. Yeah. Do 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 Mr. White. <laughs> <laughs> Something's happening. <laughs> Who is your Jesse? Uh, it, it's best if it's someone we've had on the show before. <laughs> but, you know, just let me know. Mm, it's probably tough. Connor. He's not Connor, been on the show yet, but it's probably Connor. Yeah. He he has agreed to come on to it, though. Mm-hmm. I will say that. Connor will be on the show hopefully very soon. Mm-hmm. Good times are going going to happen. Got a lot more guests coming. It's going to be great. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm going to go now. Uh, one of the things that is really improved this year for me is I finally began to take flossing seriously. Both Ooh. forms of it. I, I have started flossing my teeth on the regular and I uh, love to do the the flossing dance. It's my flossing it's my favorite. Dance. Yeah. You know, the dance with the Dude, floss. Can, can you give me the flossing dance right now? I can't do it. <laughs> Please. I can't. Why not? I I actually genuinely can't. My body can't move that way. Oh. <laughs> I'm not meant for dancing. I mean, me neither, man. I I understand. Like my body is made out of like cardboard styrofoam held together by packing tape and pop rocks. It doesn't move very well. Yeah, just can you give me your best guess of the of the dance? I just want to see you dance. I'm just going to move my arms. And since they're out of frame, okay. you, you can't assume what's going on. Whoa. <laughs> Dude. Oh, yeah. Those by the way. Moves. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate all the support. Uh, you seem much more interested in the dance than in my teeth. I think my teeth are looking pretty good. <laughs> look, at those, look at those pearly whites, dude. Yeah. I'm sure that's, you know something natural that i haven't uh fixed in editing yeah dude i bet your dentist is so proud of you sure maybe i've been to the dentist this year i don't know that i have probably not probably not just just because of all the the jams going on we're we're not talking about the jams we're talking about the uh, jellies yeah i was gonna say the jelly but it didn't make any sense (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but I was trying to be like, maybe there's something else that can work here. And as soon as like my hand went down, I mm-hmm. went, nope, there's nothing here. But you saved me by just going ahead with jelly. So yeah. that's what makes you not only a guest, but the co-caster. You'll that's never, me. you're not the co-host anymore, but you'll always be my co-caster in my heart. That's true, man. <laughs> <laughs> co-caster is a stronger bond than yeah than anything. Exactly. You'll get married someday and like I'll rush into your wedding and be like, Dawson, this is very important. I need a guest for my podcast right now. And you'll look at your bride to be and go, I'm sorry. Like 
I'd be like, listen, <laughs> just give me like 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sure he can handle the sponsor and the ad copy on his own. So yeah. he can add that in in post, but just let us record this podcast real fast. It'll be a breeze. I'll be right back. Well, what would that episode be about? Uh, uh, runaway grooms and runaway. brides and movies. Uh, that's kind of a popular trope where at a they're at a wedding and someone runs away from the wedding. That doesn't mm-hmm. happen very much in real life. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but you know, it doesn't happen very much. Yeah, I guess not. I don't know. In in movies, like if there's a wedding, there's like a solid fifty percent chance it's not going to happen. Uh-huh. <laughs> very yeah, solid fifty percent. Yeah, there's going to be something unorthodox going on. Mm-hmm. And that that's what we're going to talk about on your wedding day. <laughs> on my wedding day. Uh, all we got to do is find someone who will agree to marry you. Uh, sausage. <laughs> 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 she didn't hear me sausage just goes <laughs> all right so uh you, your, your turn this year has been really good for uh-huh. just me being a musician i've been able to practice a lot of music wow 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 it's been nice that's that's pretty pretty cool and jazzy i'm assuming uh actually more funk i've been playing a lot of funk funk is good i like funk funk is fun dude Funk? Fun is in the name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Did you just have this realization? Like, do you think that that's part of why it's called funk? Maybe. Man, my mind, it's... You're wrinkling my brain. <laughs> Dude, your brain wrinkles. Extra wrinkly. <laughs> Extra. It's the, it's the wrinkliest thing about me. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I was younger, my brother, he told my parents they had an idea for a strip club where it was exclusively old women and it was going to be called wrinkles <laughs> now i'm sure there's a lot of points that you want to dissect there my brother told my parents that he wanted to open a strip club for old people called wrinkles there's a lot to dive into but there's not time dawson we have to focus but what food would they serve there it's just going to be a k&w cafeteria <laughs> it's a canes and walkers dude yeah 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 I hate those places so much. Yeah, they're not great. I understand it's a cafeteria, but it's just a wannabe buffet. Get out of here. It's it's a lame buffet. Yeah, it's a buffet you can't go back to, and that sucks. Yeah, that blows. Be a buffet or be nothing. Get out of here, Canes and Walkers. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, you know who has a really good buffet? Who? Mellow Mushroom, man. I've never been there. It is. It's okay, but the buffet is great. Okay, we'll have to check it out. Mellow Mushroom. We'll have to check it out next year. Mm -hmm. So, you got some music. Yeah. Me, one of the best things that happened to me this year. Now, I'm just going to talk in general. I don't want to reveal who this this guy is. All right? Earlier on in the year, I had this person on my podcast kind of a lot. Yeah. And I was like, I got to figure out a way to get rid of this guy. Like he's like a like a mold or a fungus. And I I sat and I tried a to figure out guy. how to. Yeah, he's a very fun guy. He played <laughs> funk music. It yeah. was ridiculous. He's yes. he's a cartoon character of a person. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, sounds like a douche. Yeah. Don't like him. How about yeah. you say that in your classic way? The uh, the word douchebag. Oh, Give sorry. Us the- <clears throat> yeah, it sounds like a douchebag. There it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to cut it out. I don't really don't like having an accent. Cut it out. Cut yeah. it out. Cut it out. <laughs> I messed it up the first time because I had play doh in my hand. <laughs> but play yeah, that this guy he left my podcast, and I'm like, oh, I can finally do good podcasting. Mm-hmm. So uh, again, I don't want to give away who that guy is. I don't want to hurt his feelings. But getting rid. Of, of the fun guy. <laughs> yeah. Made this podcast much more serious. <laughs> and mm-hmm. uh, maybe better, maybe the same. Yeah, this is maybe the most serious podcast I've ever been on. And um, I, I've, yeah. I've been on a lot of podcasts through. How um, many? Like seven. 
Whoa. Yeah. That is. I know. That's too many podcasts. Yeah, I know. It's just the connections you get from improv school, dude. Oh, man. I still. <laughs> <laughs> I I was hoping to graduate this year. Yeah. But some things happened and I didn't get to. Yeah. But online that... improv classes are hard, man. Mm hmm. They're. They're very hard to do because like if you have like a scene partner and yeah. they start to say something, but then there's a lag. Yeah, there's yeah, there's always latency, dude. Sucks. Yeah. It's the the worst. The worst. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! what? what? What's going on? What am I? <laughs> What's going on with my zoom? Uh, I just see I just see four droopy panels. I'll send you a picture. We can put it in the podcast. Okay, cool. Because the less editing I have to do, the better. There you go. Hooray! Yeah, editing editing's fun, dude. Yeah, this uh, it is fun. Oh, here's here's another good thing that happened this year. So you can't see it. But I, I bought a new desktop. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You sent me that picture of that earlier. I sure did. Uh, the previous computer that I was editing on, I got from a secondhand store for about $150. Mm-hmm. And it, it it worked for what I needed it to do. Uh, but it sucked. It mm-hmm. was, uh, it took forever. It was very mm-hmm. painful. Uh, like. I would let a 20 minute video render and it would take eight plus hours. <laughs> Ooh, uh, that's rough, buddy. For a comparison's sake, I put a, a 20 minute video to render before doing this. It took about 10 minutes. So that Whoa. that's much better. <laughs> dude, you're going to be getting these videos out like lickety split, dude. Yeah, I'm excited. So I think we've been talking about uh, the good stuff in 2020 on a personal level. Let's look global. What are the global things that happened in 2020 that are good? The new season of The Mandalorian is good. That is good. That is good. It's so good. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) At the time of recording, it hasn't finished yet. No, we got two episodes left. Yeah, but, ah, man, I'm excited. (laughs) Yeah, right? It's awesome. Uh just I want to get into spoilers. I like how uh all right, uh spoilers for Mandalorian episode 6. So okay. if you're caught up through episode 6, you should be good. In it's season one, 2. In season 2. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so you're caught up at the moment, yeah? Yeah. Uh okay. So I'm going to oh, By the way, uh with the spoiler thing, I'll uh, I'll put something afterwards. So you just kind of scrub through and I will, you know, I'll put yeah. something there. So, uh, in The Mandalorian, I love that they gave Boba Fett, the guy that plays Boba Fett, his armor back. Yeah. And they did the same thing for, like, Marvel cosplayers with Fat Thor. Yeah. <laughs> you get chubby Boba Fett now. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I could be Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, the funniest thing, though, is when Moff Gideon is like, ever seen anything like this and then whips out the duck <laughs> like you'll 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 take an eye out with that I'm like are we gonna get like a star wars holiday special slash like christmas story crossover here what's going on <laughs> it was just the scene went by so fast it made uh, me think of the um the flower shop scene from the room yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, I really like that scene. One of my favorite things is his tiny little mustache in The Mandalorian. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> it just, it, he cracks me up a lot because he's also, you know, Gus and Breaking uh-huh. Bad. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah, he's not only got the dark saber, but he's also cooking up meth or selling meth. He's a distributor. Yeah. yeah. And chicken. And chicken. Los Poyos Hermanos. <laughs> I don't know Delicioso. a lot of Spanish. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of Spanish, but I find myself just walking around and uh, saying certain Spanish phrases all the time. Uh, Mm -hmm. Most time unprompted. Like if I'm at work, I'll just whisper to myself, Donde esta la biblioteca? (laughs) (laughs) Los pollos hermanos. 
Hase Kalor. Yeah, I, I feel that. Yeah. I do not it, do that with Spanish though, but I, I, I feel that. Uh what what do you do it with then? I do it with like with like Yiddish. I go like Oh really? Uh, yeah, like like oy vey. That's like good grief. It's the equivalent of that. That's one that I use quite frequently. It's like Charlie Brown. Yeah. Yiddish Charlie Brown. Yeah. Wasn't that an episode? Wasn't that? Okay. There was, remember the episode, it was like the hour long special of Fairly Odd Parents and Mm -hmm. he had the remote and he went to the TV. I was just, all right. So like when I was talking about that (laughs) thing with Stuart, we recorded an episode last night and I talked about this for a while. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that's on my mind right now because they went to a parody universe of Charlie Brown called Charlie Black and the Walnuts, and I they're vaguely Jewish, remember that. and they're Jewish. <laughs> so I need to rewatch that and see if Charlie Brown was just like, "Oy vey," that's all I want to see. That seems like something they would do. I wonder yeah. if I'll put in a clip here. Maybe I didn't because editing takes up time, or maybe you did because you're a you're a good content creator. I I might have. Yeah. There's no telling. It's going to be dope. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a we'll good see. one, though. It'll probably be fine either way. <laughs> All right. So the Mandalorian, uh, a good thing. I'm trying to think of other stuff that was a good thing. Get out of here. All right. Here we go. It's it's, uh, it's thinking time. I enjoyed the Vince Vaughn movie that came out recently. Freaky. Oh yeah, that did come out. That was Hmm. pretty good. I have not seen it yet. It looks fun though. I I I had a good time. I honestly think that was Vince Vaughn's best acting he's ever done. Oh really? I I just like this new age of horror movies that are like, let's do this thing but make it horror. Like uh, Happy Death Day did Groundhog Day, but it's a slasher yeah. movie. Yeah, this, this is one. Freaky Friday, but it's a slasher movie. It's like, like it's like a it's very much like um, Halloween. OK. Yeah, he's very much Mike Myers. OK, mm-hmm. but I like this. I don't know. It's cool. Like it feels like horror movies are evolving a little bit. Yeah. And I and I just like the dipping into um, the horror comedy film. Because I feel like that's something that's super underdone. Because, you know, in the past, all I could really think of is, like, the scary movies, I guess. But they're more comedy uh, than anything. Yeah, yeah. And same with, like, um, you know, like, Army of Darkness and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. But. I want to make some horror comedies. Yeah, I, have, I do, too. I have a script written for a horror comedy short. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is, that's on the docket Dude, I'd of love things to do. To some- do. I'd love to do some horror comedy with you. I, I've grown to really enjoy that very niche genre. It's underrated. I think it people is. Yeah. Yeah. should hop on that more. Like, I find straight horror movies to be a little dull yeah. sometimes. Because, like, you go into a horror movie. Like, if you know you're going into a horror movie, you know not to, like, get attached to the characters. Because you're anticipating them to die. Yeah. So, it's hard to, you know... You're just like get these sort of stock characters of like, oh, this guy's the funny guy. You're supposed to like him. This is the main girl. This is, you know, it's all been done. You you get it. Uh yeah. But in a horror comedy, like, I feel like the characters are a bit more inherently likable because they're trying to, you know, all be funny in some way. Yeah, and I and I feel like they're slightly more fleshed out as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. Because you find them comedic through all of their actions and how they're set up yeah Mm -hmm. they have a bit more depth i think yeah for sure yeah so i'm going to say words words all right here's uh here's a good uh global thing that happened the political ads stopped clogging my internet and mailbox feed yeah that's pretty internet good. feed and mailbox like literal mailbox outside and that calls. oh my Ugh. god now i will say that uh the ads haven't fully stopped we are still getting these stupid flyers for like to vote for people and i'm like it's it's been a while 
I, I don't what? think they got. I don't think they got the memo, dude. And like, it's the same ones. We've mm-hmm. gotten so many of the same one. Who, who, in this day and age, is going to like get a flyer in the mail for like a political thing and actually read it? Like, you get it, you look at it and go, oh, this is po- politics or whatever, and you chuck it in the trash. You yeah. do. Nobody cares. They are just wasting money. In paper. Yeah. Like, get out of... What? It's so baffling to me. Mm-hmm. Especially it, since a lot of those candidates are younger. I don't understand. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's ridiculous. It's a lot. <laughs> Magic Tavern went in a weird direction recently. It I don't know sure if you, did. If, if you've been listening to it. I have not listened to this week's episode, I think. Oh, I haven't either. I need to download that, actually. I don't know if I listened to last week's episode either. I actually sent, not sent, I restarted Magic Tavern from the beginning. Yeah. Because earlier in the year, I got a Stitcher Premium, not a sponsor. Honestly, <laughs> I don't love the interface, but, you know. If they yeah. want to sponsor me, I'll take it back. Yeah. I'm a shill. I don't care. Yeah. Hey um, man, if you give it, it's easy. You give me money, I love it. Exactly. Yeah. My love can be bought. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly can. It can definitely also be sold as well. Yeah. Uh yeah. And it gives me something to, you know, listen to while I'm at work. Yeah. Magic Tavern. Uh, but you know, I get to listen to it ad free now, and that that's nice. That's that, a good that thing to have in this year. Nice. Yeah. Getting to listen without ads because their ads go on for a while. They do. They I'm really like, do. Guys, you gotta, you gotta stop this. Yeah. I mean, they have Casper mattresses. Not mm-hmm. that. Not not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. Uh, uh, but this is a good time for a mid roll. Hi. Uh, remember when we teased the the sponsor at the beginning of the episode? It's time to talk about the tea that burned Tomahawk's tongue. Uh, it's all right. What I kind I don't of tea recommend. Was it? it was a holiday tea. Um, matter of fact, I'll go get it real fast. Keep 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 uh keep the viewer slash listener engaged, Dawson. You okay. can do this. Okay. Use your Procaster okay. powers. Yeah. So yeah. So Tomahawk's grabbing this tea. Um, how are you guys doing? You know, uh, we're talking about some positives here for 2020. Um, so I hope you guys have also had some delicious positives. Um, I don't know. I'm just. I can't stop thinking about that Fairly Odd Parents movie. Like, can we? I want you guys to be like, hey, do a whole episode. On the Fairly Odd Parents movie. That's all I care about. Just talk, talking about them going through the TV. Good stuff. Yeah. I have real bad bed head right now. Yeah? I took a I took a such a nice nap earlier. Oh yeah. Real real deep sleep. Okay, mm. but this is this is the uh, sponsor. Harney and Sons Holiday Spiced Black Tea. Uh I'll read the back. Okay. It's a special seasonal black tea spiced with citrus, almond, clove, and cinnamon. A perfect warming blend reminiscent of hot mulled cider enjoyed around a warm fire. That sounds pretty good. That was all right. I I don't know. I like like citrus and clove a lot. I like most black teas I've found. Oh, black teas are delicious, man. That's the best kind of tea. It's my favorite kind of tea by far. However, oh man, I got this recently. It was... um, a blueberry green tea. Oh, dude, it was so good. I'll see I'll see if I have any more and I'll let you try it. Oh, I'd love to. Mm-hmm. I'm not typically a huge fan of green tea. I have some green teas, but you know, out of the teas that I frequent, they're probably the ones that are my least favorite, but I'm definitely down to try some blueberry. Mm-hmm. I love blueberry flavored it, things. Yeah, it's definitely like it's still like the healthiness of green tea, but not the dirt flavor of green tea. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you said yeah. you got this uh, blueberry green tea when? Oh, it's been forever ago. Like, like last year. Maybe year two before? years ago. Two years yeah. ago. Yeah. Well, we're not talking about good things that happened two <laughs> years ago, Dawson. We're talking about <laughs> this year. That's right. We went on a tangent for a little bit, but now we're back. We're back. 
this isn't the tangent cast anymore. No, uh, mm-hmm. no, sir. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we should just each go two more times. And these got to be the best of the best. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's just the best things that you think have happened this year uh, for you or on a global scale. It doesn't matter. Okay. And I'm going to go now. Okay. I bought my new camera. That's and nice. it I'm so happy. Uh, and there's a lot of good circumstances that led to me buying the camera. On top of bad circumstances that led to those good circumstances that led to me buying the camera. Uh, you see, I don't know if everybody heard this. Some bad stuff happened this year uh, that caused uh, retail workers to become, uh, what's a good word? Essential? That might be a good word <clears throat> uh, to describe them. Um, and I got a raise because of that. Yeah. So that's one good thing. And since... Uh, a lot of areas were closed. Not going to say why. I was forced to save my money. Mm-hmm. So I was able to save my money up to buy this very nice camera, which is going to be used. Not mm-hmm. in this podcast, though. I was going to set it up and then decided I didn't have time because you were already waiting on me. Fair enough. Uh, but like got some short films planned, like this horror comedy one I told you is on the docket. Uh, mm-hmm. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and the time travel one, whenever that becomes a thing. Yep. 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 That, that one's ahead of the horror one. Yeah. So, uh, I will like, yeah. So there's a, I've written a script. It's about time travel. It's not what it sounds like when I say it's about time travel, whatever you're thinking. Mm -hmm. It's not that (laughs) I'll say. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, and enabled being able to do that uh, uh, short film, which is still, you know, it's it's in pre-production. I uh, hit a few snags and uh, the sort of pipeline of my my workflow, like starting that series with Stuart kind of put it a little bit on the back burner. But now that that's kind of we're getting real close and ready to releasing that uh, the time travel film is going to be much more urgent on the docket now. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. And I'm excited for everybody to see that. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, your turn. Just a um, good thing. A good thing. Um, I have gained several new pets. Let's see. We got we got the boulder, who's my pet lizard. We got Chalky, my pet tortoise, and then over at my significant other's place, we have two more ball pythons. Benoodle Nana Sandwich, or Benoodle Cheesecake, whichever one. Uh, Fietti Spaghetti. Is that we like got... Freddy Spaghetti from Parks and Rec? No, well, man, that is pretty good. But I was thinking <laughs> Fietti like Guy Fietti. Okay, okay, okay. And then we got, oh, and another ball python named Pickle. And some more snakes. So a lot of, a lot of animals. Well, since you brought up Guy Fieri... You called him yeah. Fietti, and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. Since you brought him up, I was uh, watching TV with my dad earlier. Yeah. And he was like, I wonder what they have under documentaries on this streaming thing. And under documentaries was Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. That is a documentary. <laughs> and he's like, I wouldn't think that to be a documentary. I'm like, I guess it is. It is. It 100% yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. Huh. But, like, I would have never thought to put it in that category but i guess guy, so guy fietti is a indie documentary. he's a documentarian yeah he's a he's a foodie documentarian yeah i mean you know all, all power to him he seems like yeah. a fine guy yeah because his name's guy yeah he's a fine guy guy i hate being <laughs> alive <laughs> yeah yeah i don't want to die it just sounds like not existing would be relaxing. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's a that's an oy vey right there, dude. Just a yeah, <laughs> a clean slate, no pressures. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, I'm going to go now. Uh, the just the creme de la creme, best thing that happened 
in 2020 was, uh, I have nothing. <laughs> I, th I was stalling. I don't have anything. Do you have one? Do you have another one? Cause I can't think of one. Yeah, I do. I do. Good. Um, I'll yeah, barely just, listen and I'll try to come up with something while you're talking. Yeah. This year, um, I just kind of like stumbled into playing with this new band and, um, just really good music chemistry and, uh, been writing a couple things. And, uh, I think we're working on cutting an album soon. And then once gigs are a thing, definitely doing a lot of live music and, uh, yeah, just excited about that. A lot of, a lot of music for this year, despite nothing happening. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. And I, I like that. That inspired me to say that one of my favorite things that's happened in 2020 is, uh, just kind of my creative output. Yeah. has increased like a lot and I'm including yeah. like doing this podcast. Uh, I'm not trying to knock you. That's not true. I am, but yeah. you know, I mean it in the kindest and most loving way. Uh, since you, since you quit doing this on a regular basis, since you've been gone. I have not missed a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been very consistent in, uh, in posting. I will be taking a break uh, the first week of the year. Uh, so there won't be an episode of the Silly Cast, but there will be an audio version of the first episode of the thing that I'm doing with Stuart. And sort of part of the gag of that show is that we don't have uh, a real title. <laughs> so I improvise a title on, on every episode, uh, but they always start with Tomahawk and Stuart or Stu or Stuart, something like that. Uh, yeah. Then, you know, I'll come up with something. So I guess the title is Tomahawk and Stewart. <laughs> OK, uh, so I got I got that series uh, on the way. That's very exciting. Again, we've recorded five or six episodes that are mm -hmm. about ready to just drop. And, you know, I'm excited to finally get people seeing those. Yeah, and, I, um, I I've listened to the Batman one. And it's good content. I enjoyed listening to it. It's some good stuff. Thank you. I I appreciate that. Um, on the whole, the whole is uh covered. That's why it's on the whole. Um, that joke didn't land at all. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm laughing right here, man. I'm having a good time. Uh, but yeah, I, I I've written some uh interesting like scripts and like. Uh, I got some music recorded. I I think a lot of good stuff's going to start uh, like really rolling in in 2021 as long as you know we're all alive. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. If you cross uh both of your fingers, does that cancel out the other one? Is it I'm neutral now? My, I'm crossing my toes too. So Okay. Sure. We're good to go. I'm pretty sure that makes it double neutral. Triple no. neutral? <laughs> what, okay. Neutral? All right. So, Dawson, thank you so much for coming on to the Silly Cast once again. Uh, you are by far the most recurring guest. <laughs> That's me. Yep. It's almost like you could just be a co host, but whatever. That's not an invitation. <laughs> Uh, oh, would, would you like to give me a brand spanking new Patreon tier? A brand spanking new Patreon tier? That's right. This I'm tier has to spank. All right. All right. You can do Patreon, this. Patreon, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> if you pledge... Um, I'm looking at my keyboard for numbers. If you pledge $74.50, you'll get my eyeballs. Wow, both of them. Yeah. That's generous. Uh, I thought so, if too. They, if they pledge half of that, do they just get one? No, it's it's all okay. or nothing, baby. All or nothing. And that's only going to be available to the first person to donate that amount of money? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and you have to give that money every month. Otherwise, Dawson gets his eyes back. It's true. They just kind of right yep. back in. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I, I'm glad we have that. Mm-hmm. Um, is there anything you would like to plug, my dear friend? Anything you'd like to just give a shout out to? Where can people um, find you? Yeah, I am going to plug something. It Do is it. Whatever drink you're holding? <laughs> yes, it's what I've been quenching my thirst with uh-huh. all podcasts long. I went to Momo's Monday. Wow, I got wow, me wow. A, sp- a Sprite lemonade, and it was wow. delicious, dude. That's great. Yeah. So so glad for you. Is there actually anything you want to like people to find you on? Or? No, nah, I'm good. You talked about music a lot. Don't you want to replug your, your EP? Nah. Okay. I'm good. If you if you're a first time viewer and you uh, want uh, to listen to Dawson's EP, he just uh, go back to one of the earlier episodes when he's talking about it. No, nah, you don't need to listen to it. It's okay. Eh, it's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you so much for uh, checking out this episode of the Silly Cast. I appreciate it. Please share it around with your friends. Uh, this is a very has a very small audience at the moment, but you know. It's fun. I think we're we're having a good time here. So, you know. Yeah. Let's get other silly heads in. The more people we have around here, the more fun we can have. Uh, uh, you can find an extended audio version of this on all the major podcast platforms. Spotify, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, etc. Mm-hmm. Uh, and maybe even some others that I'm not aware of right now. Because mm-hmm. they just get them. I don't know how it works. Um, you can also download episodes for free, uh, at the sillycast.podbean.com. Uh, we are at the sillycast on all platforms. Uh, so like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, but on Instagram, you should really just follow me. I am at Tomahawk Eastridge. Uh, yep. Subscribe please to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on the YouTube channel, ring that bell, ching, ring that bell. I will never say ring that bell or hit that bell. Smack that subscribe button. Ring that bell. I, okay. You can say it all you want. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah. I just know it's not me. But how how are viewers going to know when your videos get posted? This isn't their first time on YouTube. Like, they know how it works. I don't think I need to tell them. I, like... When I ask, it feels like I'm begging. Yeah. And well, I feel I, like that makes me seem needy. I and ring that bell. I am. I'm like, all right, look, look. I'm begging. Yeah. <laughs> Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I've had it a very long time. Yeah. I have very little subscribers. <laughs> Please, please subscribe to Tomahawk, please. I'm begging you, man. I put a lot of work into this, I promise. Dude, I'm going to unsubscribe, then subscribe again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thank you all for checking out another episode of the Silly Cast. We'll be back next week with another episode, or we won't be. Those are the options. All right. Bye. Bye. Outro? Do we have an outro? Yeah.